Hi, thank you for joining. My name is Sandra O, oh, and I have the great pleasure today of interviewing and having a little chit chat with Paul Gimani and Dave Enjoy Randolph of The Holdovers. So really, I'm so excited to just kind of have a time to ask you the questions that I just want to ask you. So, so, so I just want to have a kind of private moments, but I'm gonna, let's just start because which really is just going to all be about process because I've, I've really been listening to particularly you, Dave, Vine, speaking so beautifully about your process, but I'm just going to start with um, the initial moment when you received the script. What was the, what was the feeling that you felt from your characters, Paul and Mary, that made you go, ah, what was that feeling? And then also, can you remember, like, uh, was it a piece of dialogue? Was it a stage direction? Like, you know what I mean? And I'm really kind of interested in the kind of like that initial, beyond the fact that of course, beautiful script, beautiful director are going to be seen. What was that initial feeling? It's interesting. I know that I thought, oh, this is cool. This is a Christmas movie was one of the things that hit me. And it's so funny how much of what I thought and hoped in my imagination it was going to feel like actually was what it felt like. Oh. And then when I see the movie, I was like, oh, it's going to be cold. It's going to be Massachusetts. It's going to be, I love when you talk about the clanking radiator mm -hmm. in that one room. It's going to be that kind of thing. It's going to snow. And it did, it did feel like that. The thing I, th so I, I had this hope of like, oh, it's going to be this thing that's going to feel like this really kind of close, intimate thing. And it, and it all did. The things that made me, that really struck me the most was I really wanted to do the stuff of watching TV with you. Yes. Because I, I loved the idea of what I could imagine was the glow of the TV and yes. people's faces at mm -hmm. night. And it was like, I don't even care if we have dialogue. I just want to do something where I'm sitting with this woman and we're not mm -hmm. saying anything. And you have the flicker of a TV and mm -hmm. it's snowing outside. And mm -hmm. it's like, and you're just sitting there. And it's like that, I just want to do that. I just want to live in that place. 1970 made a difference too. Yes. But I just want to, and there was all the character stuff too, but that was actually a thing. I remember thinking, I really want to do those scenes watching TV. Yes. Because I want to sit there with the flickering television on, in our faces. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, anyway. Yeah, the intimacy, that was the thing that attracted me to the script. This idea of being snowed in yeah. with each other. Yeah. Do you know, or I don't know, if living on the West Coast, like no, surviving a natural disaster to get, you know, like you're <laughs> hunkering right. down. Yeah. Where there's like, we're in it, we're committing to it, yeah. slightly survival based. Yeah. This, this thing of like a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah. You'll never forget those people. Yeah. Yeah. That I, I was like, oh, this is so cozy. Yeah. Um, and. You know, I think sometimes, even when we're privileged enough to be working actors, it can get a little nine to five ish sometimes. Sure. And so, some ways in which I try to disrupt it is I try to um, play the last character that I played, I try to do the exact opposite mm -hmm. as it's a way nice of trying can, yeah. to like yeah. create range and stretch yeah. and <clears throat> unpredictability. Yeah. But in reading this script, I was like, oh, I'm going to actually be able to really get like, uh, I call it like a, actor's workout. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm not going to be able to phone this in. I'm not going to be able to, like, rely on my little... Because we yeah, all have or, them. Or a kind of... Yeah. It was deliciously exposing. Yeah. Uh, so would you say that it was, like, Mary's uh, very, very, very slow opening of, of showing her grief? It's like, for, like, a gym term, mm -hmm. it's like, you can do a bicep curl and you can go fast. Sure, yeah. but when you have you it and you're it. going slow and yeah. intentional yeah. and having that control is harder and you're getting more out yeah, of it. Out of and it. for her in particular, sometimes I can, I can play a, a couple of different things, but I, I sometimes will play these kind of like um, larger than life, very physical uh -huh. characters, characters, or I'll play like, like with the, the Detective Williams, like yeah. very like... No, no mess, no da -da 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 -da. Yeah. but it's still strong, like with a punch, whatever it is. To have that sustained, quiet, 
stillness. Yeah, I remember you saying that the first day we were going to shoot. You said, this is going to be wild to do this thing where we just sit and quietly talk to each other watching TV. And I was like, yeah, it's going to be really cool. It it's really just, works it's, me it's, out. It's not big. It's like, it's, you know. And I think it's harder. It is hard. It's very hard. But what know? I found is, in watching this movie, I don't know about you, but I saw things within myself that I've mm. never seen I that myself did. do before. I saw all kinds of things. It freaked me out watching it. Like what? Like what? I felt when... more... I actually have a hard time watching it because I feel a little bit like, ooh, wow, uh -huh. Yeah, you're seeing too I'm much seeing of too it. too much of it. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, what am I, what? Yeah. You watch it yourself? Yes. Emoting yes. and being Something. in that space. Yeah, not yeah. that I'm this guy. I don't like, but there was some weird way in which I felt like there was less... I mean, there's this guy has a shtick that he lets go of as the movie goes along. But it's like, but it was interesting. I saw more of myself <laughs> yes. than made me comfortable any other time I've ever done something. Yeah. Can, like, you, huh. can you point to a scene? <sighs> it's interesting. Can you point to a scene, like a moment where you just, where you, mm. where you were watching it and your stomach clenched mostly because you felt so vulnerable? Well, a lot of it felt vulnerable, especially uh, as it goes on. Um, I don't know. Again, I keep coming back to those those scenes. You know what, maybe I, I, I don't know if it was it was it was a lot in that. And what made me feel uncomfortable? Those are big scenes. Is and I and I don't know if this is like an Alexander Payne thing or not, but how quickly yet authentically we vacillate through emotions. Yeah. I think that is right? a thing he does. That's a thing that I always find really interesting is that it's like it goes it, they they change fast. They change fast. on a dime. Things can change on a dime and they can go very big and too then, and then get really small. It's like fast. it sucks the air out and of I'm it. And I'm never quite sure how that works, but it does work. And then you get crazy physical comedy and then yes. it comes back to this like and you're like how is this working? Yeah. And I trust it because yeah. it does, but it's but I yeah. don't quite know how it works, but it does. Yes, because like, a lot of the times that wouldn't work. Yes, like um, in in the what do we call it? Like the new the, the TV watching scenes. Yeah, they were happening fast yeah. and a little bit more subtle. Yeah. Like I remember, I really was um, challenged when she has that monologue. Uh -huh. About and and I remember Alexander. Yes, about, yeah. I remember Alexander. That was being the first like, thing we did. Throw it away. That was the first scene we shot. Really? I think wow. it was, wasn't it? Yeah. I know for sure. No, it was all scenes that it was might not in have been that. the first thing I shot. It was the first thing you shot. It was the first day we shot. I yes. Think. Yeah. Yeah. We went straight into the new, which I was like, well, can we? It's a lot. Can we have <laughs> it's some a lot. time? It's a lot. Can we do like a filler yeah, scene but, before but, we? But... That brings to my question, like, so what was the kind of process, like, or like the daily process on set? Like, like I'm curious about how you each worked with Alexander. I'm curious about what would this discussion was there rehearsal. I'm curious about like, because yeah. you guys were kind of like snowed in, kind of together. Was yeah. it? Yeah. Spent yeah, a lot of time advantage. going out to dinner or like hanging out, or, and and how did that affect? Yeah, so let's just talk about like you hung out more with Dominic. Yeah, I did, probably. and and there was yes. something. Yeah, and you'll get this under something like, and in women intuition, mm -hmm. where I was like, allow that divine, allow them huh. to have their Interesting. time. That's cool. And I never, <laughs> and, and, cool. and they would be so sweet, and they would invite me, and I'd be like. Oh, oh no! Cool. Cool. You, but I never told you that. But no, instinctually, that funny. I was like, <clears throat> let them have that time. Yeah. Also, immediately when I met this man, I was like, I'm good. Me too. I'm I know. We didn't, it was one of those things where we didn't have to actually say anything to each Nothing. other. Nothing. I remember the only conversation we had was about that first con the first scene when I come back to talk to you, and I said, it's interesting. I know your name. And it's interesting, you seem to be okay with me coming back there. And we just, we never even talked about it much more than that. We were like, somehow <coughs> these people, history. somehow these people have already seen each other and are kind of okay with each other and in a way yes. that they probably aren't with anybody else. And even with that, but it was that more, was it. That's all we ever said. It was like other. more of like a script thing, you yes. know what I mean? As right. opposed to who are we, yeah. what do we and want? Other than that, we never talked about anything. We never it was did. one of those things where you just didn't need to. And we it like felt like, our way. Yeah, didn't need to. And that's the best. Through it. And I felt happens. safe to like 
lean yep. on and yeah, rely. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. It's, and and that way, then I would say that Alexander once again is a genius by having us do that newlywed uh, thing n- first. Yes, yeah. because we it's immediate had to rely on each other to push and pull and da da da. And literally, it was like I like you talking about it like it's a first date. That's it that. is. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, think so they're watching the newlywed it. game about newlywed. Uh, what we were watching, yeah, yeah. they were all young. <laughs> yeah. And they're like asking questions and they're getting them wrong because oh they don't really know dead each other. And I've never been married. And yeah. The and I'm like game. asking them like, you leave the, you know, do you leave here every once in a while? It's like the first two days. That's true. It's really funny. And I'm like, you never even yeah. dreamed the whole dream. You yeah. know what I mean? Like we're talking about all that shit. Watching. What do you want to be funny. when you grow up? What well, do you want? That wanna... stuff is playing. It's yeah. Very funny. Mm-hmm. All the big ones, all the big moments, they all the big the bandaid off. Yeah, is, is the, that those scenes? It, it really is a kind of a real and a, and a beautiful way. Not only, of course, you guys have so much dialogue, but it is that quiet place where it's really finding its own way in both of your bodies as well. It yeah. felt like school. Uh huh. Like a, you- like like scene study class or yeah, scene yeah. analysis. Yeah. Yeah. I always felt that throughout the entirety of this movie because I always say we had the luxury of time. We, we only did two maybe and three was like crazy. Tapes. Two to three pages. Pages, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of work That's a day. Cool. I feel like a cool thing that he does is that he gives a lot of it to time. He, he, he wants there to be a lot of time. And I feel like he knows what he's gonna shoot. He knows how he, pretty much how he wants to shoot it so that if you're done, you're done. And yes. so it's like you take as much time as you need, but you also didn't, we didn't have days that killed us. We didn't wow. have, no. we didn't like get knocked out for these no. endless days and stuff like no. that or cram too much in or try to do. And also I think the way he shot it was very, it was very simple, a lot of it. So it wasn't yes. like a ton of coverage and stuff like that. I felt so, like we were doing a play. Yeah, it did feel like a play. The entire time much I felt like we like were a doing play. a play. And a lot of the time it was just the two or three of us. Yes. And it was in these kind of great cavernous spaces like and they were cold and it was weird. He does rehearse a little bit. He doesn't call it rehearsal though, but he did rehearse like, yeah. like two weeks and you or didn't so really, beforehand. Yeah, we did have like um, we hang set out. two or three weeks beforehand, like while we're doing fittings and other stuff, where we had like sit down table read and that was a time scene by scene where, because people ask us often of like, what did you guys improv? And it's a yes and no question. In that two to three weeks when you we did the script analysis, bit, yeah. that was your time of like, Doing stuff. Throw your stuff out there. Yeah. Whatever you think works. Or saying this doesn't. I don't quite. This doesn't. Could this be different or something? Or could we put so something like back in? Like we I had like a whatever. collective holdovers 2.0. Right. That between the actors, director, and the writer, we collectively came up yeah, with. Yeah, he was there too. The writer. And then was there. that was then the set. David. Script. Yeah. I've never had that happen no, in my life. No, it doesn't. It doesn't happen. It's the only other time I've done it was sideways. Is the only time I've ever done something like it's that. It's unreal. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, and so I think I've never really worked. I've as an actor, I've had to enforce or protect mm-hmm. myself in trying to create right. a free, non-judgmental <laughs> right. space for myself. Right. And this, I had someone there as a director doing that for us. Yeah. He trusts you and he trusts everybody. You know, I mean, he casts and then he says, I, I trust you to do what you're going to do. So you can completely trust him, too. I mean, it's yes. like there's no bullshit or fear or hierarchy None. or weirdness or nonsense. It's like it just is you're you're pretty you're pretty safe. You're in very safe hands. Yes. Yeah. It, like that, what you guys are are, are describing and, exp- ex- and have experienced is absolutely like such a joy to hear about because mm. we all know it's not easy. It's no, not it's easy. rare. Yeah. No. So, so with that, it's like, David, you started talking about it. Mm. Like, how do you create that for yourself? Let's just say on a set that not might mm. not be really yours. Mm. Or- sure come in and that or suddenly you feel like oh there's dynamic going on and mm, I don't, yes. I don't have enough time which is mostly what it's like is trying yeah, to, a lot of dynamic. you spend a lot of time trying to do that yes. and it's yeah. like to find how can I work in this and find room for myself and include other people it's hard mm-hmm. but yeah well, can yeah. you do that you have yeah. to do it like how I, do you do it you walk into someone and feel like I'm going to need to make space for myself here I'm not very good at it. I, what I've found is there's a level of presentational professionalism 
mm-hmm. that they respect. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's not. It's not. Yeah. I don't know how to define it. No, it's that's like a, that's a cool. I like it's that. It's not of like being like showy. Like I've done my homework. Yes. Da, da, da. But there's something about how I intentionally, quite literally, physically enter the space that makes sense. where they know. That makes sense. Oh, she. She's ready. She's, she's ready. Got, yeah, that makes she's sense. Put the camera on now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where then people then in like a that. great way, I don't have to say anything, I don't have to say, I need, and could I possibly, yes, they, just pick they up can on feel the energy, yeah. and they're like, okay. That's interesting. I like that. Presentational that, professionalism. Yes. I like that a lot. She's at the ready, yep. you know? Yep. And then I notice that gets people excited. Yeah. Um, people want to work. This is for that. SAG, right? Yes, it is, right? Okay, so... Yes, oh, yeah, that's oh, why. Right. So actor to actor, another thing that I will do is... Ooh, I'm being really honest, though. Sometimes I will, even if I know the answer to it, hmm. I will ask the director uh, an intentionally insightful question awesome. about the scene. Awesome. To Just like to get everybody Get them to turned on. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. I love it when people ask questions because I'm not yeah. very articulate. But I about won't it. ask the and actor. And so I love when there's somebody who asks questions like that. Yeah. And you're right; it does kind of sharpen yes. everybody up. Yeah. Yes. Let's you, but, you, but, you, but you won't ask another actor. No, 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 no. I, I if anything, I want the other actor to hear. Yeah, that's me always asking good for the director. Me and if yeah. the actor wants to join in the conversation, cool. cool. But really, what I'm doing is getting everyone focused. Presentational professionalism. <laughs> I do. No, truly. I really like it. I think that's I, really truly. cool. And you're, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's just setting the atmosphere. About. And you're right. You, well, you're just coming in and doing your work is what you're yes, doing. Yes, ultimately. You're showing up ready to work. Yeah. And that's just, that's that does a lot. Yeah. It sets because, tone because and stuff to, like that. Not or just tone. Yeah, yeah, and directors are juggling a lot of things. Yeah. And yeah. producers are talking Everybody to them. Very so I do it as a and, way yeah. to just like get their gears going like and excited almost like turning them on. I mm-hmm. want to turn them on to the scene. I could know the answer or have, you know, Clever. my own thoughts or whatever. But if nothing else, it like gets everyone like aroused. I love it. <laughs> like, I love, ooh. I love actors who ask good questions because I don't a lot of the time. So it's also, it's also just helpful. You yeah. Because I'm very afraid to talk about stuff. So it's like, because I don't want to, now is views. yeah is, is so it, it helps me to hear somebody because sometimes I'll go oh that's cool I hadn't thought of that that's actually yeah. interesting and we'll go in there but I I get easily confused so I try not to ask you this is a different thing I'm talking about now now I'm talking about something else but it's like I don't really no understand that, that level of articulation about it is always an interesting thing to me some people can talk about it some people can do it I'm always amazed by people who can talk about it and still be able to do it really because I have a hard time sometimes so I talk about it too much. It's interesting. So sometimes it's great to hear, to be able to listen to somebody else talking about it helps me sometimes. Sometimes you realize that when you listen to someone else talking about it, you realize, oh, I do have that. I do have those calls. Correct. Or you have, yeah, so it's affirming in some way. Yeah, yes. that's always good too. Yes. That's nice too. Yeah. I, I will say, Davon, I, you, uh, I'm not gonna ask you about it too much here because if anybody, if any actor wants to listen to, to you talk about your process, the the one you did with Elvis Mitchell, that was oh, nice. That was excellent you, because man. I was just like, oh my gosh, the articulation of your process through you uh, like I don't even know. She just said a person uh, came, uh, and I don't, I don't even know. Elvis Mitchell, it was podcast it, it, it was or something. It was in treat the in uh, it, no the treatment not in treatment. Sorry, it's awesome. No, it's a great one, but yeah. but you don't even remember. It's fine, but yeah. I'm gonna tell whoever's listening. The way that you talk about process in terms of many things, right? We're not even talking the big, the basic, whatever script analysis that you should already have done that. But the way mm. that you talk about even the texture and costume, uh-huh. oh the, yeah, uh-huh. um, obviously in your props, and then also really uh, about gathering the people in your I uh, like your. Yes. Life. Yeah. I get, I, yes. I, I get that. That's amazing. And I love so it. One, I, I just I really appreciate. I'm like, I'm summoning my. I my know team. what you do. I know you. I know exactly you know? what you mean. No, it's like the all stars. Yeah. Every every role archetypes, personal yes. archetypes, and things that you're doing. Yes. I totally get it. Because the reality is, you are gonna lose it at point. You're not gonna all 
always be in the moment with the character all the time. No. So but sometimes it's... there's safeguards for me, like sure. if I if sure. I touch out of base. Zoop. But it's a kind of poetic, personal poetry. You evoke you evoke something in yourself in a really cool way. I love how you talked about like wheezy and stuff like that. From like yes. all that stuff you draw on these things that yes. are really that are deep in you and the person watching too. It's really cool. Yes, and also I mean not to get doo doo although no. you like that stuff. I do. No, like I love it. Stuff. I love it. I, I mean, love it. Of she. I like spirits. Woo, woo, yeah, woo 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 is good. Yeah, we're, I, we're conjuring up spirits. We are. We totally are. That's what I mean. It's like you're evoking these things in yourself. Yeah. Yourself. I in this movie, one of the things that freaks me out when I watch this is I see all of these people I didn't even know I was gonna see coming through this guy, and that freaks That's me out. Amazing. I see these people that I'm like, oh my god, I didn't even know I was summoning that person from my past because it's a lot of stuff about my Do you past. Know what that I, I call that? No. I call that kind of like good phrases. the Ouija board moment. I love it. You know it the is. point of Ouija yes, board and where then the it's message now, comes through. And that's yeah. when my spirit You're building and their the spirit Yep. And yep. it's just moving now. And suddenly you don't right? need to that think little about thing it. is guiding you. Yeah. And it's hitting all yeah. the right the points. The thing is guiding you. Uh, I, I, and I love that that it clearly seems from the from the film and uh, even the both of you speaking together that you're kind of riding the Ouija board together. You are always in a film, sort of. Yes. Yeah, so somebody just recently, who was it? Oh, I talked to Ethan Hawke who said it's if it's going right, it's a guided meditation. Doing yes, everything. and I was like, yes. "That's really cool." I was it like, is. "If it's going right, you're right. It is." Do you know what I? Yeah, uh, and I, it's self guided. Is other guy? I mean, I mean, I, uh, who's guiding you exactly? I don't know, but it is guided meditation. And I was like, "That if it's going right, that's really cool." That's very that's sophisticated. the best. If it, it's really cool. Yeah, I used to call it my blackout. I remember in school, <laughs> in school, I yes. used to know when I did it if right. If you didn't remember it. I don't remember yeah. anything. I know what you and mean. Then the, and then the scene ends, yep. and then yeah. I'm just, no I look around the room, yeah. and everyone's face is like you blacked out and you came to. Do you feel like that happens on film as much as it does on in a play? I feel like that happens more in the theater than it does yes. on film. It if can I, happen on film, but I feel like yes. it happens on theater more. Yes. Where you really can lose yourself, and you have yes. no idea what the fuck just happened. Absolutely. And it's like, but it, whatever it was, it earnestly, because you've worked, I've you know. only found that to happen in film, genuinely, and I'm not on stage or in film. I, you feel it more on uh, stage. Yes, yeah, yeah. But when I have genuinely, it has been with you mm. in this movie and scenes with you, and then the only other time. And I don't, especially that you do comedy. I'm the Ouija master. You are, but also <laughs> with and like um, heightened comedy. Yes, that's right? true. Right when I have yes, a very physical a character, yes, that's like true. there were moments in high yeah, fidelity true. that I was just, I right. was like, boom. Yes, actually, that Howard say, Stern movie when I did yes. it, I don't even remember doing a lot of stuff in that because you just were like, yeah, you were just, it's that big thing because you know too. you have to fully commit to it there's no half committal it won't hit the same way yeah. it's when you know okay i have to give a hundred yeah, yeah. and then they say cut and you're like <laughs> what <"Ugh." laughs> you know what i mean it's a workout yeah that experience can be more intense on film because it is this burst of it that mm -hmm. you're doing like that yeah mm -hmm. and then the energy management Right, the yeah. energy management that you always kind of have to kind of in control your in internal um, thermometer. Yeah. Or you know who I learned that from, Eddie Murphy. To 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 regulate yourself. I well, those guys are amazing though. Guys, he like that. in between takes ah. is like a little Buddha, just oh. calm, and not even like crazy nah. weird, just centered. Right. When we were doing Dolomite, they would say cut. His assistant would hand him his guitar. He goes sit in his chair, do -do 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 -do, just like <laughs> vibing out. Yeah. And I would sense. just sit next to him. Yeah. In my it's chair, I would calm. just sit right next to him and just let our energies like Be vroom, vroom, yeah. vroom. And then sense. we would literally go do the take, and then it's. Pfft. Yeah. And I said, how do you do that? He said, there's no way I can give that. Without doing that. And be, that. La, 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 and all this, all, I have to preserve, and are you saying, control, yeah. and like regulate it, 
And the only way I can is, I know I got to give whatever the role has to give. Yeah. But a lot of times, you know, like in between takes, people are distracted, off and doing da da da, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and he just said for him, he knew, like he's never on his phone. Have you ever felt, though, that the opposite thing can help, though, sometimes? That if you are, like, up and Because I've actually sometimes noticed that the more kind of deep and I, I grieved and serious sometimes things are. I find myself off camera yes. getting crazy. That's what I have did. That's what I did that? for this. And again, it's like a weird energy, man. Yes. It's like I, I then I go off camera and I have to like go bananas. Yes. Off that's camera. what I, I did for this. I start fucking around and joking around. Are you doing some, that while while you're in the midst of a filming or sometimes or I have. Oh yes. Sometimes I have. Yeah. Sometimes I did that for I this. Have. I have you knew never felt that I would have been like, too much. If you had to if you're doing some deep thing and you go away from it, sometimes you find yourself having to release energy weirdly and you get Dude, but i feel like i feel like when it, uh, gathering 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 when it's done th and then i yeah, feel like it's it happen sometimes even while I'm yeah doing like i wouldn't like if we if we take this movie as an example because i did that throughout the entire movie so like the newlywed scenes no i i would like yeah we would like for example we would for the most part stay on the couch <laughs> And just like, That's whatever, we, we might look at that. each other, yeah. not whatever. But overall, I knew I could not allow myself because I felt like it was life imitating art so much in filming this because of we were filming in the area that we were at. It wasn't like we were in a studio and then we went off and we're like, yeah. Even where Boston was, and at that time we of year, really we didn't see that many people. Yeah, yeah. It was still very isolated. That's true. And so because of it, <laughs> excuse me, in between takes, like I would joke around with yeah, you guys, or joke around. because you yeah. need that. I knew I needed that reserve and in order for me to go there. It was, it was. She was so unlike me that it felt unnatural and uncomfortable. So I allowed myself to release yes. in between. That's what I mean. To and that's, then, that's, yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about. It's interesting because you're subjecting yourself yeah, to that person and their and then you personality. Have to yeah. Because yeah. did it for you feel? Sure. He feels. Yes. Un I'm sure he felt uncomfortable. Very to be and here. uptight and kind she of. She felt like, uncomfortable. Yeah. She was yeah. holding so much. Yeah, all of them. All three of them were. Oh, it really sounds like also you uh, you both have either similar or very very simpatico processes. I think we do. Really, especially because it's like you know, and then all obviously also. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, holding space for dominant to to yes. be able to kind of flourish. You know what I mean, like, and and really yeah. guide, but also just hold space, if we can say. Can I be honest? Yeah, Dominic. He's a whole other thing. He, He's a whole I other think thing. if anyone did that of like the guiding earnestly, it was him. It was him. <laughs> I know. I agree. I think it was him. Actually. I know that's wild to no, say, I and agree. I don't really know how I to break that down. I keep trying to articulate it, and I keep saying there was something about him that made me slow down and reflect more. That boy kind of felt like, more seventies than any costume I could have ever put on. He felt seventies. I would just no, look over at the him, first and I'd be like, time oh, okay. I saw his audition. I was like, but he looks like he's from nineteen seventy-one with nothing. He didn't have to do anything to him, and it was. And I don't mean just his hair and his sideburns. I mean his face. And his eyes, and like the attitude, and the the way Even he, how he felt talks. like another era. Yeah, it didn't feel. It was really well. But I agree with you, and it's what I keep trying to say. I actually think he was the spirit guide. I do you, really think, do. Do you think it's because that you know that that beginner mind newness, the the oh, the, the, sure. the, the newbie mind, the beginner mind, it's the baby that I soaks swear up God, everything. It was, but he has a gravity to him. A center of gravity and a kind of emotional and imaginative gravity that he just pulls you in, and he kind of slowed me down and he made me yes. more reflective about stuff. And it was, it was like, like uh, I didn't feel like I had to be babying him along or mentoring him. No, not at all. There were times. I mean, the only thing I felt like I would do was just go like, "That was great. How did that feel?" And he would go, "Pretty good." And I'd be like, "That's cool." So just keep doing that, you know. And it was yeah. like because sometimes he would look at me and go like, "I don't know," and I'd be like, "No, no. did it feel all right?" But he, he was very steady. And it was like, so in some ways I agree. It's like, yeah. Very much so. Yeah. What would you say makes the other person opposite you a great actor? Oh boy. He... For a second, you boy. don't have to talk about yourself, Paul, but you do what, <laughs> what makes Dave on a great actor. What makes Paul a great actor? Because- I'm gonna go first. Yeah, you guys I know who's have, try to jump yeah, to you it. Guys have such a close, you know, n no one's going to be able to say this better than the both of you right now. I said this in an interview recently. 
Mm. I don't even know. Sorry, I don't even know who it was with. But Variety. Okay. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I just said a name. Like that's supposed to mean something. No, but because they kept, they they were they were doing a big feature on you, mm. and they had reached out to me to you know, to, to mm -hmm. further pontificate on your excellence. <laughs> And the guy kept going, well, can you tell me more? And I was like, well, I, I really what feel like. What do I like, say? Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. And I said something and I really meant it. And the more that I think about it, the more I'm really glad that it came out that way. Because, you know, in all this, like, award season delirium. Yeah. Sometimes some gems really do come out. Uh-huh. You are like the everyday man's Brad Pitt. The magnitude that he has of being able, do you, it's easier, in my humble opinion, if everything's, you know, Grecian in regards to like big and da -da 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 -da. <laughs> It is so hard to be so specific mm. and intentional and honest. Wow. And you have this ability where you, the roles, I don't know how intentional, to me it seems very intentional, the roles you pick. Because you could play anything, number one, but you could play certain roles and yet you choose to play these. Uh -huh. And the way that you depict so earnestly these men who have in some way fallen from grace, but are trying. <laughs> in spite of themselves uh is is phenomenal and 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 there's a level of no ego there's no vanity and i don't know many people that would be willing to be of such dynamic service to the storytelling where we're actors a lot of people would be like well, but wait a minute you know put me in that $50,000 suit though you know what I mean? or whatever right he is in such service to the roles that he portrays. Do you know that I mm. saw you yesterday <laughs> when I was in Glam? This is crazy. I haven't told you this yet. Mm. I, Because I don't have time to watch everything. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to watch Straight Outta Compton yet. Oh. Oh, this is what's crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. No, truly. Uh -huh. I'm flicking through. They're doing my Glam. I said, is that my? So I turn up the volume. It is the scene where, and this is why you ever click through things and you see your friends, but you get that beautiful moment where you see the perfect scene that you were supposed to see. It was when the guy came to your home mm. to tell you. He's dumping me. Oh right. my. <laughs> you see how he finished my city? Because he already knows that he killed it. No. Yeah, no, yes. he said came to my home, so I knew what the scene was. Whatever. One scene where the guy comes to my home. Okay, whatever. <laughs> the point being, we are watching straight out of Compton, and not because I this is, but this is important to me because also as a woman of color, a lot of people probably would have just overlooked like whatever that was the black movie. Uh -huh. The amount of integrity that you gave to that person in that right. moment, yeah, it was, mm. he, it, it was movie. like he was the little puppy that's getting uh, left yeah. at the orphanage. It, it broke yeah. my heart. And it almost was as if it stood still in the midst of this very cool, like, hip hop movie. Da -da 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 -da. That you, when you stand it's at that door, I know, that's why I went first. <laughs> you stood at that door. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, man. no, he actually and then, cares about the guy. I wanted to actually make You said, no, you guy. can't do this yeah, to me. Yeah, he cares about the 25 guy. 25 years. Yeah, he cares Yo, about the guy. Yo, I could, it was the greatest. Mm. I was like, it was like someone gave me, I love it. I love doing this to him. This has been the best part of these six months, making this man feel uncomfortable. Uh, but I'm genuinely speaking my truth. I understand. Thank and, you. And it's, can this I is say my something thing. No, say something? because this is my thing. If you can do that and that, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, he gives great. the impact on everything yeah, that you do. But that's not, I mean, but that's what you do. It's what we all do, but that's what you do. No, oh, people, people don't, don't do that. Please, do please, please, please no. share. Yes. Please, please, please. please. No. So, no, but on her. No, and that's the thing. Again, simplicity 
an endless flow of truth, incredible groundedness, weird ability to completely transform and be a completely different person, seemingly doing nothing. Uh -huh. Seemingly coming in and sitting there, you seemed to do nothing and you became a completely different person in mm. front of my face. It was effortless. Mm -hmm. That thing of somebody Thank coming you. in and it's coming up, I don't even know where it's coming from, but so much simplicity too. Like you, and I would watch you kind of boil it down too. And it would get more, and the simpler it got, the more amazing it got every time. More mm. stuff started coming out, more stuff started happening. Fearless too, doesn't give a shit. And we'll do whatever the fuck it takes. We'll go anywhere, we'll have all kinds of inventive, constantly inventive, constantly reinventing it, but always completely fucking real and truthful. No bullshit at all, Thank ever. You. Ever. And off camera, the same thing. You uh -huh. look in her eyes, she's one of these people, you look in her, it's a lot of actors, you look in their eyes and they've checked out. You know what I mean? It's like, even while you're working, or they'll, or it's their thing, they're t it's, and they check oh, out. Yeah. Never. The eyes were always engaged and looking at me sometimes in a disconcerting way. I was <laughs> like, you are seeing me. You are really fucking looking at me. There were times when I was really like, holy fuck, you're really looking at me. You're not faking anything. And there's a one moment you do in this movie when you're we're having dinner with him and you wink at him. He just says, I've never had a meal like this before. And you winked at him. And it's like, it's just everything is there. I'm telling you. It was like, it's just so simple and so real and so many moments constantly happening, constantly. And it was just amazing. Just amazing. I love this man so no. much. And it's like in everything I've seen you in, too. And it's so funny how different you were than Only Murders in the Building. I'm like, this is just a different person. Thank so, you. you know, something else I love about you is your voice. I keep talking about your voice, and I know you trained mm. as a singer, but your voice is like, it's one of those things I envy it because I feel like you just are effortlessly... It comes that that is you. one of my things. Like, yeah. Because oh, I, I don't want to be myself. So, yeah, but it, yeah, and your voice, it's like, and you found this lightness with her voice that was so cool. Thank this you. kind of register that was really different. It wasn't you again. Donna Summer. Yeah, was that what it was? Donna Summer. <laughs> I would watch her interviews. Uh, like oh, that's on Johnny cool. Carson. I know what you mean. Yeah, because yeah, she's from Boston. Because oh. I wanted, I really wanted to bring in like, I really wanted strong feminine notes to like you cut do. through. You have it, and it's like, and it's different. And it's very mm -hmm. different from, and I, I, I keep talking about that performance, but they were so different mm -hmm. to me that it was like, it was really cool. And your voice, but it's also you have a completely unimpeded voice. Like it just comes out of you in this way that I'm like, you just, how the, f I mean, it's just like, it's, it's so nice to be around. Because I'm Thank so fucking you. blocked. I'm, <laughs> I'm so blocked up. But it's like, it just comes out of you in this way that's Thank just beautiful you. to listen to. And Thank your voice you. is just like, it's just beautiful. Oh, and yeah. it's an instrument that just, you can do anything with it. And it's really Thank cool. So anyway. Oh my gosh, Paul, Davine. This is like... One, I could just keep on going on for, I, I already gotten like two little things in the box, just say, wrap it up. And I'm just like, forget it. I mean, like, are you kidding me? This is exactly kind of what actors want to see. And and to be able to, for that, you guys are able to share this. Thank you so much. You speak so beautifully about each other. And that is a, that's a gorgeous thing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rest well. Mm. Uh, we wish you all the, best, all the success mm, for all your hydrated, <laughs> hydrated, um, mm. and continue enjoying this season. Um, and thank you so much for both Thanks, of you. Thanks, Sandra. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, uh, thank you.